covenant it is church is people you are the church this walls are just physical building there is no prominence to that but we still speak even today like many pastors i personally witness they say this is a holy place they say you are not supposed to come only pastors are uh, supposed to come on to this pulpit if you come you will be judged you will be punished i tell you today there is no prominence here there is no prominence it is just a physical building okay so it is not even a program that like you know we come we just visit the church building and then what pastor is telling we are hearing and we are saying yes it is good pastor sermon was good and we just leave what different do you do when you go to a movie theater it is unidirectional you go you watch movie it is nice and you come back but is that what god's plan of church is we saw in acts 2 what he said they devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and to the fellowship and to the breaking of the bread and the prayer so church is people when they gather together they are supposed to devote themselves to apostolic teachings they are supposed to do fellowship they are supposed to have the breaking of bread and prayer that is church but not that you are coming silently sitting listening everything clapping and just leaving at the end of the day when the church is over when the sermon is over that's not god's design is when you call it as church okay so it is not even a service it is not a program that you spend 2 hours and then you leave it is not even a digital church the concept of god when he allowed the covid i'm saying god allowed the covid without god's permission the covid couldn't have come into this world okay without god's permission the covid would have not come and god's intention of that was to have small churches at the homes as a family but you know the satan is a deceiver right what it did when you used to gather together as church as part of the new covenant after jesus coming you used to gather and used to have fellowship breaking of bread having fellowship face to face but the deceiver deceived again the people they don't want to come to church now and be digital be online that is absolutely not at all the church i am clearly telling by the permission of god digital church is not the design of god as i said the concept of church is fellowship face to face gathering together if you see the acts in the first century people used to meet often during the week okay so what it means is meeting often as a church all the believers all the believers as i see right now we are supposed to meet often during the week to worship god to encourage one another to have fellowship with one another that is what god's design is but the sad state now there is a warning from paul also in galatians 5 verse 2 and verse 4 i want you to pay clear attention to this paul say to you that if you accept circumcision christ will be of no advantage to you the context here you are, you may be thinking it is only speaking about circumcision but the context if you see a bigger picture paul is saying if you still follow the law of the old covenant then christ is of no value for you which means if you are still following the concept of church in the form of physical building then jesus is of no value for you because you didn't understand the doctrine of church which god has given to you you go on to read you are severe from christ you who would be justified by the law you have fallen away from the grace means i am just replacing the circumcision with a physical building in the context of the church so when people st still think church is physical building then christ grace is of no value for you you are still under the law you are not under the grace so i tell you now that we are under the grace we are under the new covenant church is people church is not a physical building nor a program nor a service okay i hope you understood the strict warning of paul which is applicable 
to not only just limiting to church, but even other traditions and other customs which are rooted into the church. India is full of traditions and cultures. We have several, we have people say there are two crore gods, several traditions. The gospel of Lord Jesus Christ is so compromised, the traditions and the cultures of the nations rule the church. So we still call ourselves as church. We say we are saved people, but we still follow the traditions like housewarming ceremony. The importance is for heating the milk. The importance is for when a child girl is born, menstruation seven days. We make the child to sit at one corner. What are all these? We still follow the harvest festival. These are all the law of the old covenant guys. If you still follow these, I'm again giving the warning and the caution what Paul has said. You have not seen the grace of God. You are still under the law. Okay, moving, moving ahead. So what is church? Now till now I spoke what is not a church and how church is getting influenced through the traditions and the cultures and the physical building and calling this place as holy place and all these things is not the design of God when we call it as a church. So church is an assembly. Are we not an assembly? So when Paul did the three missionary journeys, the concept was he used to do evangelism and whenever people used to accept Jesus Christ, then he used to plant a church then he used to raise pastors in that church and he used to go to other place. That is how the church, the people, the assembly is formed that is called as church. So we see that example in uh, similar context in Acts 2. I'm not uh, going to that verse. It, it will be verse Acts 2.40 where Peter also when the day of the Pentecost, when the Holy Spirit came for the first time and then when Peter proclaimed the gospel, people repented and 3,000 of the people were saved. That is the first time when the church was formed as part of the new covenant. Okay, so what is church? Church is nothing but ecclesia, Greek word. It is called assembly. It is called called out people. It is called set apart for God. It is not set apart for the world. Okay, so you clearly see church is people. So I've given the definition at the bottom. Church is a group of born again believers, bought by the blood of Lord Jesus Christ, gathered together to worship and exalt God's, God's name and accomplish God's will through the church. So church is a spiritual community. It is an assembly. God has a plan through the church. God wants to show the glory to the rest of all the world. So we, we see in Galatians 1.13. For you have heard of my previous way of life in Judaism, how intensely I persecuted the church of God and tried to destroy it. So when Paul is writing Galatians 1.13, it is not the physical building he is speaking about. He was speaking about the persecution which Paul was doing to the people. It is not the physical building which Paul was trying to destroy it. Understand in the context, again, Acts 8.3. But Saul began to destroy the church, going from house to house. He dragged off both men and women and put them in prison. So is the church men and women or is the church physical building? You could clearly see in the new covenant, the church is people. So I have other aspects to show from the church. So I'm moving on, giving two examples to you. In Galatians 1.13 and Acts 8.3, church is a family of God. Church is a family. When time permits, sometime I will take a sermon which says, church family is a spiritual family. It is eternal, is more valuable than your biological family. Okay? So church is a family of God. Church is the body of Christ. Church is the temple of God. Church is the bride of Christ. Church should be evangelical and missional. While I present this sermon, I want everyone to introspect yourself in the light of the word of God.
to see are you living according to the purpose defined by god for you when he has brought you as part of this community